So today we're going to be looking at calculating the surface area of a triangle or a triangular prism. So what you need to realize is that just looking at the shape itself, it's kind of difficult to figure out what you're doing. So the best thing to do is either break it into separate shapes and see how many separate shapes there are. So in this case, there are two triangles and there are three rectangles. Also in this one, you notice that they're all the same. They all would be the same size because it's not been indicated with numbers. Or the other way to do it is to open it up as a net, and in this case again, if I was to open it up as a net, it would look something like this. Once you have that, you're able to transfer that into figuring out um, the measurements. The other thing to remember is when we're measuring for a triangle, you are measuring the height from the center down, and this would be your height, and then this would be your base. Okay. And in order to find surface area, you have to find the area of each of the individual shapes. So in this case, you have the two triangles, which are right here, and you would have the three rectangles, which are right here. So you're going to need the formula for triangle, so the area of a triangle, which equals base times height divided by 2, and you're going to need to know that. You're also going to need to know the formula for a rectangle, and that's area of a rectangle equals base times height. Now, in order to find the surface area, all you do is you simply take the area of a triangle, so in this case there's two triangles, so we find the area of a two to the one triangle, we'll multiply it by two, we'll find the area of the triangle, sorry, rectangle, and then we'll multiply it in this case by three, and so surface area. equals the total area of my triangle plus the total area of my rectangle and that would give you your surface area. So make sure you have these formulas down, make sure you understand how to open it up into a net as well as how to open it up into individual shapes so you can see what shapes you have and what the measurements are. So now I have a question, it says solve for the surface area. I have a shape here, and with the shape, I'm given all the measurements required. So I have triangle, and I can see again, I have two triangles, and then I have three rectangles. And when you look at that, you don't, you can't tell right away whether they're all the same size, but you're going to go through it as you go through it, and you'll be able to see whether all the rectangles are the same size, and if the triangles are the same size. So first, I want you to again, pause the video right now, try it yourself, and then come back and take a look if you got it right. So go ahead and pause. Okay, welcome back, and now let's actually go through this. So, first thing I would do is I would draw out my triangles, and I have two triangles. And in this case, my triangles actually end up being the same size. And so my height here is 3, and my um, base here is, and I look for the base, and again, where is it? That's my baseline, so the baseline is given here, and it's 6.6, .6, so I'm going to write that down. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to solve. So I know that the formula for area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. And I got that from the previous page. It was given to you before. So I go ahead and I input my numbers. My base is 6.6. .6, and then I'm multiplying that by 3. And I divide that by 2. And I keep going. Okay, so 6.6 .6 multiplied by 3 is 19. Point 0.8 and then I divide that by 2 and I end up with 9.9 .9 centimeters squared. Now the one thing I showed you at the very top is there's two of these triangles so I know that this is not my total surface area, total area of my triangles, this is only the area of one triangle. So now I'm going to do total area of my triangles and I know my total area would be the area of my triangle multiplied in this case by 2. And so I input those numbers in 9.9 .9 multiplied by 2. Okay, and then when I do 9.9 .9 multiplied by 2, I end up with 19.8 centimeters squared. And this is going to be an important number, so I'm just going to get just circle it right there. We're going to need this number. Okay. 
The next thing we do is we look at our rectangles. And if you notice, your rectangles, there's actually three different rectangles. So let's do one of the rectangles. So I'm going to do the first one that's right here, this rectangle. So I look at my base and I look at my height. And so in this case, my base is 5 and my height is 2. And I know that the formula for a rectangle, area of a rectangle, is base times height equals, so again, my base, 5 times 2, that equals 10 centimeters squared. And that's the first one that we've done. <clears throat> and so again, we're going to highlight that so we have that here. Okay? That's, we'll just number that as our first one. Then we're going to go ahead and we're doing the next one. So we can look at our next rectangle. And again, look at those numbers. This is our rectangle. That's my base. That's my height. So it's 6.6 .6 with a height of 2. And again, the same formula, area of my triangle equals base times height. 6.6 .6 multiplied by 2. And I keep going. 6.6 .6 multiplied by 2 is going to give me 13 0.2 centimeters squared. And again, I'm going to highlight that information here. Okay, I'm running out of space on this page. I'm going to go to another page, but the next one we're going to do is this rectangle right here. And so, I'm going to go ahead and draw out my third rectangle. This is my rectangle number three. Okay, so, and I look at these numbers, and my measurements here are two by four, and so I do area of my rectangle equals base times height and in this case my base is 4 times my height of 2 so I get an area total of 8 centimeters squared. Now from the first page you remember surface area equals the total area of my triangle plus the area of my rectangle 1 plus the area of my rectangle number 2 plus the area of my rectangle number three. So remember surface area means adding up all of the areas that you've calculated. So my total area of the first triangle was 19.8 plus 10 plus 13.2 plus 8 and a total of 51 centimeters squared. So go over that, make sure you understand it, make sure you understand how we came up with those numbers. Okay, so here's your next question. I want you to try it. So I've given you, again, a triangular prism. You need to make sure that you see how many sides it has and what it has. Okay, so go ahead, pause the video and try to pause it. Okay, welcome back. And now I want you to go ahead and I want you to, to see if you've done this correctly. So the first thing I would do is I would draw out the shapes that I have. And again, I have two triangles, and then you're going to write out the measurements. So I have two triangles. If you look at both of them, you can see the base and the height, and so we're going to write that in. So my base is 12, and my height is 5, and it's the same for both of them. Okay. The next thing I do is I look at all of the other shapes that I have, and I can see that I have uh, three other triangles. So if you look at that, there's sorry, rectangles. Here's one, okay, here's another, and the one at the back. And in this case, they're all different. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw those in so we see what they look like. So we see what the measurements are as well. So the first one is right there, and it's going to be 13. And that 13 is coming from right here. And we look at uh, um, a length here, and that is 14. So I'm going to write that in. And we're just going to number that number one. Okay, then we're going to do our next one. And in this case, we look again, on our length is here 5, and it is by 14. So again, I write that in. And we're going to number this one 2. And then again, I do my third one. Number that 3. And that's at the bottom right here. Right there, that one. And that is 12 by 14. I'm going to write that in as well. Okay, so now that I have all my shapes, I know the formulas that I'm going to use, and I'm going to go ahead and solve. 
So, we know that the formula for a triangle, the area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. So my base is 12 times my height of 5 divided by 2. And so that's going to be 60 divided by 2, which equals 30 centimeters squared. And that's my first one. Okay, so now that I have the area of my triangle, I'm going to do my total area of my triangle. And we know there's two of them, so we have our area of our triangle multiplied by 2. And our area of our triangle is 30 multiplied by 2. So my total area of my triangle is 60 centimeters squared. And you know that this number is going to be important to you, so you can go ahead and highlight that. Okay, so now we're going to do the area of each of these triangles. So you know the formula for area of a triangle is base times height. And in this case, it's going to be 14 times 13. And 14 times 13 is 182 centimeters squared. And then we move on to the next one. And this one, the area of this rectangle is going to be 14 times 5. And again, 14 times 5 equals uh, 70 centimeters squared. And again, you notice that I didn't go ahead and, and write in the base times height here. And the only reason I didn't do it is I'm running out of space. But you are expected to write out the formula each time that you do it. And again, area of a rectangle equals base times height. And in this case, it's going to be 14 times 12 which then equals 168 centimeters squared. Okay, so now you have the areas of your total area of the triangles, which is the two triangles here. You have rectangle one, rectangle two, and rectangle three. In order to find surface area, all you have to do now is you have to add up all of the areas. So surface area equals the total area of my triangle plus rectangle 1, rectangle 2, and rectangle 3. So if I go in and put these numbers in, I have 60 plus 182 plus, sorry, 182 plus 70 plus 168. I end up with a surface area total of 480 centimeters square. So again, go through this, make sure you have all of it correct, and if you have it all correct, you're moving on. Okay, so I have a word problem for you now. So I have a triangular prism, which has a surface area of 400 meters squared. What is the area of one triangular face that the total area of the rectangular faces is 2,400 centimeters squared? So a lot of information is given to you. You need to go and then find out what the important information. We know that's important because that's our surface area. We know that we're looking for one triangular face and we know that they gave us the rectangular faces. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in writing for myself. So I have my triangle. Kind of looks like that. My surface area is given to me as 400 meters squared. I'm looking for the area of a triangle. That's the part that's not given to me. And my total area of my rectangles is given to me and that is 2,400 centimeters squared. So the first thing you should notice in this case is they gave you two different measures of unit. Measures of unit. So you need to go ahead and make those the same. So the easiest thing to do is take your meters and maybe convert your meters into centimeters so that they're the same. So you know that one meter equals 100 centimeters. So for every meter I have, I'm going to have 100 centimeters. So if I have 400 meters, how many centimeters do I have? I go ahead and I find out. And the best thing to do is you go and you find out. You say if I have 400 meters, I have an X number of centimeters. And then you, um, if you've never done this before, you cross multiply. 
Okay, so you're going to go ahead and you're going to cross multiply. So I have 1x equals 4,000. And so, uh, therefore, x equals 4,000 centimeters. And how do we find that out? We know that this would be if we multiplied, sorry, 100 times uh, 4,000, we end up with, uh, sorry, centimeters and meters. And this would be uh, 1 meter in centimeters. Then we take this in order to get algebraically, in order to, this is a multiplication, so we divide it by itself. And we divide this by itself, by the other side, so 1 divided by, meters crosses out, I'm left with x equals 4,000 centimeters. So once you've done that, and I'm just going to erase this out because I need the space here. Um, once you've done that, you're going to uh, take all the information you have, plug it into the surface area formula, and then you're going to be able to solve. So I want you to pause the video and try that out, and then I will get back to you. Okay, so welcome back, and we're going to actually... So we know the formula for surface area is surface area equals total area of my triangle plus my total area of my rectangle. And in this case, the surface area was given to us. And so we said the surface area equals 4,000 plus the... And we didn't know the area, the total area of my triangle plus the total area of my rectangle, which is 2,400. So now algebraically, in order to solve this, I need to get rid of this number from this side. So because it's an addition, the opposite of addition would be subtraction. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract that from both sides. So if I have 4,000 here, I'm going to subtract 2,400 total area of triangle plus 2,400. Whatever I did to my right, I do my left. And right away we notice that's going to disappear right there. And this is going to turn into equals my total area of my triangle. So now the question didn't ask us to find the total area of a triangle which would be, it, ask, it asks us to find just the area of a triangle. So now we look at our shape, and we said we had a triangular prism. So, we notice that um, it has two triangles on both sides, so that means you need to take this and divide it by two in order to get the correct answer. So, you have divided by 2 equals the area of a triangle. And that would be 800 centimeters squared would be my area of my triangle. Okay, so I hope you got that. I want you to make sure that you've looked at it, you've understood it. Because the next one you're going to do on your own. Here's the next question. On this one, all the information is again given to you. So you have a triangular prism. It has a surface area of 900 centimeters squared. What is the total area of a rectangular face? So the total area of the rectangular faces, if the total area of the triangular faces is 1,720 millimeters. Now the one thing I'm going to give you a hint about is, remember, this unit is in millimeters, this unit is in centimeters. You want to convert it so that they're both the same. And the one hint I'm going to give you before I leave you to do this is 1 centimeter equals 10 millimeters. So make sure you convert your units, then follow the same steps we did in the previous one, plug in the correct information, and solve. And then bring this one to class with you with all the other notes. Good luck.